Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video, and this is for Monday, the 11th of July. A very humid day today. I think those high dew points are, are the really the big story, and it's hot, but, you know, temperatures are not that bad for midsummer. Let's go right to some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, we'll actually start with a view coming from uh, this morning. Captured that one from the Decatur sky cam a little before 9 o'clock. Thought that was a nice view of the... Uh, uh, Tennessee River, and it was mostly cloudy. We've had thunderstorms in spots throughout the morning hours, helping to keep the heat down somewhat today. In fact, there's the Chihaw Sky Cam in East Alabama at uh, a little before 2 o'clock, and they're showing 77 degrees. Ooh, yeah. Look at that fog in the valley down there with some rain nearby. That's tremendous. But on the other hand, there's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam where they're having a hard time getting the rain this summer. Uh, they're one of the dry spots in the state. They're up in the mid-90s. And you can see one little single-cell updraft off in the distance. That is the view looking east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. All right, there's the water vapor satellite shot. And you can see that uh, the upper ridge is really on top of us. And uh, most of the significant action is to the north in terms of the you know organized convection. There's the actual contours at 500 millibars. Old 594 circle uh, right over the uh, southeastern states. And traditionally with that, you know, it's kind of hot and dry and capped off. But in this case, I think the uh, a couple of low-level boundaries are helping to keep the air parcels going up and through the cap. And uh, also, we've got uh, very good soil moisture and uh, the low-level moisture kind of heat keeping the heat down. But on the other hand, the you know, heat index goes up. It's kind of a wash. And there's uh, temperatures at uh, uh, 2 o'clock. I'm sorry. These are 1 o'clock observations. It's only 81 at Anniston, uh, Birmingham at 88, Shelby County Airport 87, Montgomery 81. We'll take those numbers any day. Uh, the hotter readings are over there in the west and northwest part of the state with mid-90s. Uh, closer to the center of the heat bubble. I think the higher heights are probably up around Memphis today. Around the nation, uh, yeah, triple digits already at uh, 1 o'clock at Oklahoma City. They are baking out there. But clearly, we're on the periphery of that. And we think with time, the, the core of the heat will be shifting a little north and west of here. So uh, the numbers should come down a little bit every day this week. Although today, they're just not that bad. There's the radar at 151. Got some good thunderstorms over Cherokee County in northeast Alabama, raining in parts of Clay, Cleburne, Randolph, Coosa, Tallapoosa, Chambers Counties. Uh, good rains along the U.S. 80 corridor, Demopolis over to Selma in Montgomery. And we note new showers developing northwest of Tuscaloosa. And uh, we'll sure take all that we can get. And I, we'll have those every day this week. If anything, the coverage will actually be going up. Uh, especially Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Up on the uh, watch warning map today, got some flood issues out west. Uh, flood watches for parts of Arizona, Utah, Colorado. It's the monsoon, the summer monsoon flow out there, although they will be drier later this week. And to the northeast of here, that's a pretty nasty-looking bow echo coming through Columbus, Ohio, Cleveland, and Akron, and Canton, and uh, that's a severe thunderstorm watch until 5 o'clock Eastern time, and a little moderate risk has popped up up there for that bow echo. Uh, surrounding that, a slight risk on top of the heat ridge, and also in the northern tip of Maine. And tomorrow, almost identical in terms of where the organized severe weather will be. And we will have showers and storms down here, and, and, but they're, you know, air mass storms, the, the uh, scattered pop-up type storms, not really organized. But look at the rain numbers coming up. This is the rain through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about 2 inches. Bring it on. And I really do think uh, that the coverage of the rain looks pretty good, uh, really Wednesday all the way through Saturday as the heat levels come down with highs dropping to near 90 as the core of the heat shifts north and uh, uh, west of here. And in tropical weather, we've got a wave moving into Central America uh, Nicaragua and Belize and places like that, Honduras, so it's no issue for us, uh, should make it rain down there. And another wave that's approaching the Windward Islands, but at this point, the upper winds don't favor any development. But hey, this is getting to be mid-July now, so you figure at some point things ought to start to heat up down there. We'll check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at uh, uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow 
afternoon. I take that back. Seven o'clock tomorrow evening. I decided to move the time back on these things because often our most active weather is reflected late in the evening. This is seven o'clock tomorrow evening. Uh, and you can see we got the ridge in place, but the heights are coming down deep upper low just off the northwest coast. And down below that, typical stuff, hot, muggy, scattered showers and storms, kind of like today. And if anything, it should be a little hotter than today. Uh, again, it looks like a lot of places, say Birmingham and points east, are not going to make it out of the low 90s. Uh, Mid 90s are likely tomorrow. And the dew points are going to stay pretty high. But again, pretty typical summer stuff. Wednesday. The heights are coming down. We have a surface front north of us, and, and we're starting to think that we'll see a pretty decent increase in shower and thunderstorm activity Wednesday. Same thing Thursday, and really the same thing Friday. So that latter half of the week, the coverage of the showers and storms looking pretty good, and we'll sure take that. What about the weekend? A 594 ring is off to the northwest over the nation's bread basket, centered right over Kansas City, and Got a light northerly flow aloft and, again, a very moist air mass scattered to numerous showers and storms. And the same thing on Sunday. And understand, it's not going to rain all day. The sun will be out at times. Just keep in mind, we ought to get wet a time or two to cool things down. And a week from today, pretty much the same deal. All right, let's go out there a few more days. This is the 23rd. Look at the trough over the east. The heat is out west. Got troughing uh, east of here. And by golly, the GFS tries to push a cold front all the way down below Montgomery in late July. Yeah, we'll believe that when we see it. But if by chance, that's right, we'd see some drier continental air. And on the 27th, the end of the forecast period, uh, you know, the westerlies are in Canada, 594 bubble over Colorado. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, really a light easterly flow aloft here. And again, that just makes you wonder if that might open the door for some tropical mischief. Notice that little bubble down there over the Bahamas. So uh, we'll just have to... Uh, Wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story, and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day, you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.